All right, let's hop into the meat and potatoes of this video. The main goal of this video is to, as I stated in the intro, to make it so that way when y'all are farming a legendary armor, you understand the stats you need based off your character. And this will help you target farm your stats better. This will help you understand what stats and what stat distributions you're looking for and help you understand what is going to end up having to be sacrificed to get what stat, stat distributions you want on your armor. All right, let's head into this. So to begin with, the first thing everybody needs to know is that legendary armor is capped at 68. So here on the top, your mobility, resilience, and recovery cannot be more than 34, okay? This also goes for your discipline, intellect, and strength. They also can only be 34. To note here, this is a masterworked piece with a recov mod. So in case you're wondering, wait, that doesn't make any sense. This is a masterworked piece with a recov mod on it. So this is actually a 21, 11, this is actually a 18, 11, and 2 on the top here. In case you're wondering how I got the stats you see here on this armor piece. So when you have the 34, you have to understand that... You're never going to get an armor piece that has 20 here and say 20 here. The best you could realistically do, because a stack cannot be less than 2, right? The best you could do is 16 and 16. So you go 16 mobility and 16 resilient uh, recovery with a two in your resilience this is 34 because 16 plus 16 is 32 32 plus 2 is 34. now this is not counting the mass work take that into account this is not this is what they drop with this is not counting for the mass work. obviously with the master work this is 18 and 18 and 2 and 4. however this is actually not the most efficient way to stat out your armor the reason for this being is Recovery is by far the most important stat in the game. And you don't want armor to be one-dimensional. You want your armor to be able to be made into many different builds, no matter what you play. Whether you're a consistent PvP player, or you're a hardcore endgame PvE player, recovery is by far your most important stat for gameplay purposes. And in order to stat distribute correctly you have to sacrifice resilience and mobility but you have to sacrifice them individually depending on which class you play this is part of the reason why warlocks are so strong warlocks only need to go to five resil the reason for this being is five resil is the cap between five and ten there is no benefit until so you get to ten on the damage you take in pve Six is the cap in PvP. This is because of things like Thorn. There's like some damage numbers and damage rounding that six becomes like the be better number in PvP. But because Warlock's class ability is tied to your health regen, which is stupid and should probably change, you can stat into pieces that are like, you know, 26, 27 recov. Or, you know, even 30 recov, and, you know, you can end up with, you know, fives here, sixes here, because those don't really matter in the long run. Because, you know, you only need, you know, six resilience, and as long as you're getting, you know, eight resil on each piece, because if you're at 34, you know, you go, let's say, you go, you know, let's say 25 for your recovery on every single piece, not a masterwork. So that's easy 100, right? And that'll come out to 106 when it's masterwork, right? Because you gotta take into account the class item. So you come out to 106, which is frustrating, but that's how that would work out. But that's how it would work out. You'd end up with 106. Um, Nothing you could do about it. Like you just have 106 recovery. 
but your resilience would your resilience and mobility would need there would only be nine stats left right and it would have to be split between your resilience and mobility mobile they're each capped at two so taking that into account that takes four off it only leaves you five points okay if you get lucky your five points could go into resilience and then you'd end up with seven resilience nine resilience masterwork that's actually not ideal because you would actually want to go to 23 leaving you with 11 stats then you could take the two off for mobility that leaves you with nine stats for resilience right so then you can have 23 this would give you 25 masterwork right because remember plus two from the masterwork this would give you 25 recovery this would give you four mobility right because of the plus two you'd end up with four and then you'd end up with 11 here in the um resilience category because of the plus two with masterwork however you're not going to always get 68 piece legendaries that exactly follow this rule that's just not going to happen there's no way to perfectly stack craft armor right now hopefully in the future we do get armor crafting and we can actually go through and stat craft armor this way because it would be amazing since we understand how all this works so realistically you're probably looking at actually a piece in the 20s the 20 to 24 is probably what you're looking at for your recovery and this would give you somewhere between 10 and 14 left over for your stat distribution if you get the 10 you're hoping for an 8 and a 2 you're hoping for an 8 in your resilience and a 2 in your mobility this is if you're a warlock if you're a titan you're actually looking for closer to something in the 20s the reason this being is your resilience directly affects your class ability cooldown now to be to have the most efficient cooldown on your barricade you actually want tier 7 okay in order to have tier 7 and have efficient recovery as well you you want about 20 in your recub so this would give you 22 across all four pieces that is 88 okay you plus 2 from your class item puts you at 90 this makes it one recub mod and you're at 100 that's actually really efficient and really cheap okay you are then left with 14 stats on your top, okay? If you get absolutely screwed and they get split 7 and 7, that's 9 and 9, okay? That's actually not that bad. You can live with that. But what you're hoping for, actually, is you're hoping for 12 and 2, okay? And this is not because mobility is a useless stat on titan because yes technically having lower mobility makes you slightly faster this is because mobility doesn't actually do anything for you on a titan and resilience is so important that you don't want to have to you can't do anything with your mobility you can't stress your mobility because resilience is such an important stat because it directly affects your uh, barricade cooldown the nice thing about resilience is resilience does actually help you in endgame content. But as I did state, anything above 5, anything between 5 and 10 doesn't do anything unless you are at that 10 number. The 7 on Titan actually lets you run double utility kickstart. And you can infinitely loop barricades as if you were in tier 9 resilience. And it saves stats for you for your recovery. Okay? So what this would do is if you have 14 across all four pieces 14 times 4 is 28 plus 28 that would be 56 right because it eight yeah so 56 56 plus 2 is 58 now to get to 70 you need one small one big right and you'd be just over 70 to get to your 56 to get your two or 70 stat total which again is really efficient and you'd end up with some really really small mobility you'd end up with like the twos and the threes for your mobilities 
Um, because if you're at two, if you're at four across all four pieces, you're at sixteen plus the two from the class item. You're at eighteen, so your mobility would be really low. But luckily, mobility doesn't really actually help you on Titan, so that's not that big of a deal if your mobility is that low on a Titan. So you do actually want to purposely look for low mobility armor here on a Titan. Now, here comes the tricky part on Hunter. As I've stated, resilience is an important stat on the hunt. Mobility and recovery are an important stat on the Hunter. Sorry, I had to take a drink. On the Hunter, you also need resilience. The reason you need resilience is because 5 is what gives you the max damage resistance inside of end game PBE without going to 10. And there would be literally no reason to ever go to 10 on a Hunter because you don't get anything for it. It just makes it so that there's a couple things you can survive that you wouldn't be able to survive at all. So, if you're trying to get 100 mobility, 100 recovery, which is the two stats you should go for, or try to get them the highest possible, you're going to need to go to roughly 15 and 18. The reason this being is 15 non-masterworked, or actually let's say 13 and 16. So 6 plus 3 is 9. Uh, that puts you at 29. So you end up with a little bit of recovery. You end up with a little bit of resilience left. Okay, so 15 across 4 pieces is 60. 18 across 4 pieces is not quite 100. I actually don't know the number. Um, Hold on, we're going to calculate this real quick. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I should probably have a calculator ready. Uh, 18 times 4. Looking at 72. 72 with the masterwork. So, you would need three big recoveries, and you could go two mobilities, right? Luckily, this is where discipline becomes so important on a hunter. This is where having really high discipline armor is so important. Because of the way mobility and recovery and resilience all affect each other, and the fact that powerful friends is a thing, right? Because powerful friends is most certainly a thing, and that hunter recover that hunter mobility does feel way better. I will not lie, somebody who used to main hunter, the hunter mobility makes the class feel a thousand times better. The discipline is not affected by this top section. Discipline is completely independent. And you don't need intellect or strength on a hunter. So you could legitimately go for 30s in your discipline. And hit easy 100 discipline with no stat mods. So you could burn the 5 stat mods for the recovery and the mobility. Which would be, like I said, two. It, you'd be at 60 on your mobility, and you'd be at 72. So you would need 3 recovery, 2 mobility because of powerful friends. Okay. And then you would have 9 left over, right? So 6, 3 is 9. Uh, you have 29 out of 34. 29 minus 34. Uh... Sorry, 34 minus, minus 29 is 5. So you'd end up with 7. 7 times 4 is 28. So you end up with 30. It's what you'd end up with. And that kind of sucks. But there's literally nothing you can do about it other than sacrifice recovery or mobility for it and if 
we had more mods that could directly affect mobility or recovery or resilience in a positive form and not in a negative form, this would make this stat building way easier. But I did want to point out the top here because it is part of the reason why Warlock is so strong in build crafting because you just need recovery and a tiny little bit of resilience. Right? You can go to 25, 26 and have, you know, 5, 6 resilience and you'll be fine. Let's go to the bottom. The bottom is pretty simple. Unless you are looking for intellect armor for like 1% of all builds in the game. Um, Thunder Crash, Chaos Reach. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Thunder Crash, Chaos Reach would be the ones I would think of on why you would want intellect, high intellect. Because those are really important supers. You want to go with high discipline. The goal on every single character, this is your always consistent goal, is to get 23s in the discipline forever. The intellect and strength don't matter unless you need strength for something. Um, unless you're building into a melee focus build, which there are a couple melees that are worth building into and getting close to 100 on, discipline takes the priority. Discipline can be easy 23s. That leaves you with 11 for to be distributed between intellect and strength. Your goal would be 9 strength to intellect because that would give you, again, 11 and 4, which would be basically perfect because then you'd end up with 44 strength, which is 4 tiers of strength. And at four times four, you're at 12, right? Eight, sorry, you're at 16. 16 plus two is 18. And you'd end up with plenty of stat points left over to. And if your armor's statted out like this, you'll probably end up on most characters with plenty of room to affect your intellect if you need to. So. To take away from this section of the video and from this video to send y'all off, what you need to know is legendary armor cannot go higher than 68. 68 is your number. Imagine, just hold on, I'm gonna rewrite that. 68 is your magic number. Remember that. On exotics, we are pretty sure it's 72. As a community, we are pretty sure exotics cannot go higher than 72. Um, this would make sense because you have to distribute the 72 by two sets of three. Um, you have to split it in half, and then those halves have to be split in two thirds. So it would have to be an even number. Uh, it would have to be a relatively easy distributed number. 72 for exotics, 68 for legendaries. For legendaries, you need to understand that the top can only be 34, the bottom can only be 34. You need to understand that if you have one stat in the 20s, no other stat can be in the 20s due to the cap of 34. The highest any other stat could be would be 12, since you would have to be capped at 2, because, once again, a stat cannot be lower than 2. This also goes for the bottom. If you have a stat in the 20s, they can't. you cannot have another stat in the 20s. You would be capped at 12 and 2, either direction. And obviously, yes, these could be split 7 and 7, 8 and 6, whatever. They could be split however. They would just naturally be split. You want on Titan... You want to prioritize Recov, Rezil, and Discipline, okay? 
Discipline is important because it's your grenade. Grenades are incredibly important with how strong they are in PvE. Resilience affects your barricade cooldown, so that's really important. It also gives you some damage resistance. And then recovery is your health regen, which is also very, very important. On Hunter, you want to go Recov, uh, Mobility, because this affects your dodge cooldown, which is really important. And then you want to go Discipline. Something to note here on Hunter, 80 Mobility plus 2 Utility Kickstarts has the same dodge cooldown as 100 Mobility Base. So take that into account when you are build crafting. On Warlock, you want to go Recov, right? You want to go Discipline, and then what's ever left over. Um, resilience is mildly important. Intellect is mildly important. Um, if you want to have some decent strength to use some of the more powerful Warlock melees, do that. But really, the two things on Warlock you got to worry about is recup discipline. If you can get a hundred on both of those, and then get to you know twos in your get to two three in your mobility and strength, and roughly fives in your resilience and intellect, you're looking pretty good. I would say that is probably about where you want to be on a Warlock. But that is it for the, the Invitatos portion of this video. I am sorry it's so long. I appreciate anybody who stuck with this. I knew this was going to be a more lengthy video. Um, I'm not even going to throw in an intro, really, because I basically covered it all here. So I appreciate anybody who did watch. I will see everybody on Tuesday for a brand new video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving it a like and subscribing to the channel. And I will see everybody in the next one. Peace out. And goodbye.